but more to they are changing the way um, people do bricklaying in Lira. One of them, the members in that team, is previously a bricklayer who used to damage the environment, the soil, to produce the common bricks that we see that are and then later on burn them and we know in the burning of the bricks you're polluting the environment. So there are two folds here. You're damaging the land. Once destroyed, there is nothing you can do on that ground again that is beneficial. And then secondly, Lira is a very dirty city and we do have a lot of plastics in the city. So their problem is one, but it addresses two problems. The first one is the soil and then the other one is the plastics. As Junior Achievement Uganda, we're able to reach over 10,000 young people uh, across the country, and uh, many of them were able to form social uh, enterprises, among which today we have Bedmont, who excelled and uh, showed the ability to be a, a scalable project. We decided to get one innovation to stick on, and we saw we found that poor disposal poor disposal of plastic and uh, land degradation was was the greatest problem in our community brick makers they always cut down trees to in order for them to to burn their bricks so i was able to solve this problem by making plastic interlocking bricks